Grace. Round one. Let the action begin. Go! Round one, let the action begin. Go! Round one, let the action begin. Go!
Must we? Really, guys? Hey, you find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. So, according to Marase, Amor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That's your rest assertion that Hamuro is beating well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase going to testify? That's not that easy. <sighs> it never is. Either way, Marase's telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is Amor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool? But she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later.
Stay down. Irashimase. Good stuff. Back to it. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita. Here we go. All right.
いらっしゃいませ。んはい《いらっしゃいませ》ありがとうございましたWhen the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani sensei is your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyore man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Murase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? 
I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long! Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. If you're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway, they'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamra and Kume did after leaving Amur. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you'd never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. You want to find an informant by the name of Ayabe? Your buddy over at Tender should know more. Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. 
It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars for killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaichi Street. That's where I'd look. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Yo, Tsukumo. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh... I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Huh, it might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Get here soon. 
Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. Uh, how long have you been waiting anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't... Take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit. The landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently, they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> That's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. All right, I'll check it out. Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs>
Must we? Stay down. Hey, Seiya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. Sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sonic 10? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like, mumbling to himself or something. Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once? Left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on. What did Hamura do after he... He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap. He hit you around 12, and then headed into Sonic 10. Yes. And as long as I can prove Hamra was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. And can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies, too? <laughs> sure. I'll ask him. <laughs> hey! One more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya.
Hello? Yo, it's me. You find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run-in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold up. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyurei guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> Fair enough. Later. Hey, you! I know you, boy. Marase. What a coincidence. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Get this fucker back to the office! I really don't have time for this. You talk! Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? <laughs> Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you wanna try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now!
Please tell me you found something. You did, right? Think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't? Let's... Let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera. You got good news for us or what? This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, Counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. Excuse me. Your Honor, a uh, recess, if you don't mind. What happened in there? I... I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. 